These talking AI avatars are taking over Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok by storm. And even teenagers are earning so much money every month using these talking avatars. Hi, my name is Bjorn. Have you ever wondered how you can create these AI avatars and get in on this too? In fact, some of the most viral accounts online today are actually faceless and are using these talking AI avatars. Today, I'm going to show you two free and easy ways to create your own talking avatar to increase your chances of going viral. So stick around my friend and follow closely because I am going to reveal to you a secret 100% free method. By the end of this video, you will discover how to create these talking avatars without spending a dime and also uncover some very useful tips and tricks to make this process flawless and super easy. So the first step is to generate an image of an avatar you want. For this, I will be showing you Leonardo.ai and CArt.ai. I personally use Leonardo.ai more because it feels more user-friendly and straightforward. CArt has a lot of features, and it's great too, but to keep things simple, I will just use Leonardo.ai here. When you go to Leonardo.ai, click on Launch App on the top right, and it will open up a new screen like this. If you don't have an account already, you can make a free one with just your email address, and it will give you 150 tokens for free every day. A tip here, if you run out of the tokens, you can always sign up with a new email account and use another 150 tokens. But if you don't want the hassle, you can sign up for the monthly subscription, which is only $12 a month. If you want to sign up for the paid version, you can click on the token icon on top left, and it will lead you to this page. I personally signed up for the $12 a month plan, which gives you 8,500 tokens, and it's plenty to generate as many images as you want. Now, the best way to generate images would be to ask ChatGPT to generate a prompt for you. But personally, I just scroll through and copy the prompt of the images that I like and modify it a bit. I liked the image of this woman, so I just clicked on the image and copied the prompt. I wanted to generate an Asian woman, so I changed the prompt to an Asian woman and kept everything else the same. If you want this prompt, you can get it from the description below. Now, this is what I got from this prompt. This was from my first try, and I'm pretty happy with it, so we will use this as an example. Now we need a script for this avatar. Find some topics you would like the avatar to talk about, and get ChatGPT or Perplexity AI to generate a script for you. ChatGPT is the default that most people use, but Perplexity.ai is also good and does not require a login. It searches the web in real time and offers up-to-date information on various topics. I recommend you try both and pick whichever answer you like best. Then we head over to get the voiceover. We can use Eleven Labs or TTS Maker. Eleven Labs is a great AI voiceover platform and has a good forever free plan. The free plan provides 10,000 characters per month and allows you to create up to three custom voices, but does not offer a commercial license for speech synthesis. The paid plan, though, is a good option and is on promotion at the time of filming this. $1 for the first month and $5 after the first. That's cheaper than a cup of coffee, isn't it? Huh? If you want to make a free account with Eleven Labs and try it out, the link is in the description below. But today, we will be using TTS Maker, which is a 100% free tool. Just hop on to TTS Maker maker.com and paste in your script. Here, you can actually choose different languages, pick from various voices including voices with accents and kid voices. Let's try a different language just for fun. They have all these different languages but I'm going to select Korean. Paste the text, input the verification code, click convert to speech, and download. Now let's listen to this. 안녕하세요. 만나서 반가워요. 이거 해보시고 문제가 있으시면 코멘트를 해주세요. 제가 최선을 다해 도와드리겠습니다. This sounds pretty good. Also, if you click on more settings, you can choose which audio file format you want. Audio quality, voice speed, voice volume, pitch adjustment. And you can even adjust the pause time of each paragraph, which I think is an awesome feature. Now, in order to proceed, you need to input the verification code shown here and then. You can press convert to speech and download the voice file. Finally, we are ready to animate the AI avatar you generated. Here is where it gets super fun. I will show you two different ways to animate your avatar. First, we will use Sad Talker to animate this avatar image with just a few clicks. Sad Talker is super simple and easy to use. Just click on the link in the description below. You can use Sad Talker for free, but after a few times, it will ask you to pay. When you encounter this, just open another browser in incognito mode and you will be able to use it again. Another way to use Sad Talker is by going to huggingface.co. This is an open source platform, so you can make your talking avatar here for free, but it takes much longer to generate. Mine took about 30 minutes, and sometimes the application is too busy and you might get an error message. 
In this case, wait a few minutes and try again. But in my next video, I can demonstrate how you can install SadTalker and use it for free without limitations by installing Stable Diffusion Web UI. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make this video to guide you through the process. Now let's start animating. First, you need to upload your AI avatar image and upload your voiceover. And for the settings below, I recommend to always have the enhancer on for the best quality and choose the full image. Now click on Run, and it will start generating your talking avatar. It might take a while, so sit tight and have a sip of coffee. As you know, there are a lot of amazing AI tools out there, but most are paid or offer only limited usage. This can get frustrating, and I understand that all these subscription fees can add up fast. But I got your back, my friend. I've dedicated countless hours to researching and finding 100% free AI tools to save you both time and money. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell icon so that you will stay on top of all the newest free AI tools. Now the video is finally generated. You can click the play button to play the video. I am so happy to meet you. If any step of this process seems unclear or if you encounter any issues while trying out this method, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments. I'm committed to addressing every single comment and helping you out. I am pretty happy with the output so far. In fact, I like Chloe. I think I'm going to ask her out. Well, that is if I can muster up my courage. Sorry, I got a bit distracted here. Now back to our topic. The second method to animate your AI avatar is to use Canva's AI features. HeyGen is a paid tool, but with this method I am going to show you. You will be able to use HeyGen for free for as long as you want inside of Canva. Go to canva.com, create an account with your email if you don't have one already, and click on the Apps tab on the left, and type in HeyGen, and click on the HeyGen AI Avatars tab. Here, click on Use in New Designs, then click on Video. Then click on HeyGen AI Avatar icon on the bottom left. You will see their existing avatars you can use, and you can also upload the avatar you created. When you click on Upload, it will ask you to connect your HeyGen account. Click on Connect and you need to create an account with Hagen. Now here's the trick, so listen closely. Hagen is a paid tool but has a free plan, and it gives you one free credit to try once. But with the method I am going to reveal to you, you can use it as many times as you want for free. So go to tempmailo.com. This is a site where you can get temporary emails to use. Copy the email address you see here and go ahead and make an account with Hagen. It will ask you to verify your email, so you can go back to tempmailo.com. And if you scroll down, you will see the email you received from Hagen with the verification code. Grab this code and paste it into Hagen, and now your email is verified. Then go back to Canva and click on Upload, and Hagen will ask you to create your password. Go ahead and create a password and log into Hagen in Canva. You can now go ahead and upload your avatar and your voiceover file. And finally, click on Generate AI Video and watch the magic happen. To generate one video, Hagen will use 0.5 credit from the one free credit they give you. Now here's the secret method. When you have used up all the credits, you can use the temporary email and sign up again to use another credit and create more talking AI avatar videos. Here's something very important. In order to not be flagged as spam when you use this again, you need to first click on Make Another Video Now tab, go to Apps tab and click Your Apps tab. After coming here, click on these three dots and remove it from here. Now go to Discover and search by typing HeyGen. Click it to open and click Sign In and sign up with email. Go back to TempMailo and click the Change button to get a brand new email. Copy this new email and sign up again in the same way. It is a little bit of a hassle, but it only takes about a minute or two to create a new account with this temporary email if you choose to use this method. So here's the finished version. You can click Add to Design and adjust the video to fit the screen size you have selected. Here's the verdict. Her name is Chloe, by the way. Now let's listen to Chloe, our new talking AI avatar. I am so happy to meet you. If any step of this process seems unclear or if you encounter any issues while trying out this method, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments. I'm committed to addressing every single comment and helping you out. This is pretty amazing, isn't it? Now you can click on the share button on top right and download in the format that you want. The format I recommend is MP4. All you need to do now is to rinse and repeat the process with different content. Drop your thoughts in the comments if you like the sad talker or HeyGen output better.